Hey guys and welcome to another Under 5 Minute Review and today we're doing Batman by Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale. So this is the dust jacket, it's really nice and pretty. And then <clears throat> this is what it looks like underneath. This is actually my favourite thing ever. Like I wish all of my Omnis were like this. I'm not sure how many of them are but this is the first one I've opened that's like this. It's got like this nice like cloth tomb kind of cover it's it's great so down to business first things first what it looks like art i love it it's funky it's different um i've i mean they do this a lot i really like this it's like they draw him in the shadow like he's part of it or something it's amazing <coughs> i really like the artwork um, like I said, it's different from what I'm used to, and all the better. Uh, Contents-wise, three main stories in here. Starts off, the first arc is half the book, and it's magnificent. It truly is. I never thought I could be so into this detective kind of thing. Like I was, I was reading this. Like I read half of this in one go yesterday. And then I've did the on half today. Um, it's just such a page turner. I was like, who did it? Who did it? I was kind of like guessing right. And I thought I got it right. And then I changed my mind. And then when the reveal came, I was like, shit. Should have stuck with who I went with in the beginning. And then boom, hit again by another twist. I was like, fuck. Got that wrong again. But <sighs> it's so good. Like it really, really is so good. Um, so many little twists and turns. Like, I, it's just so well written. Like, it, it's amazing. Second part of this, I'm not sure if I think it's better than the first. Because there's a lot of, it's a different story. I think it's a little bit more spread out, but I don't think it loses quality. Like, the introduction of Batman is in there. Sorry, Robin. And it's dealt with really well. Like, I don't usually like Robin in the formats that I've seen him in. But like here, he's fucking amazing. Really, really liked him. I thought he was brilliant. <clears throat> and then, um, it stopped off with like a final kind of bonus arc, which is like this Catwoman run. Um, I think this could have done without the Catwoman stuff. Especially considering how big this book already is. But I'm not sure they would have collected it anywhere else. It was okay though. Uh, I did enjoy it. Didn't have a problem reading it. It wasn't bad or anything. It's just I don't think it was necessarily needed. You know? But, uh, yeah. Um, specific little details that I really enjoyed about this. Mainly come down to little insights into Batman. Like... There's this one where he fights Grundy, right? <clears throat> and he's like a beast. And after beating him up, you know, he comes back and brings him food. You know? Just like little things like that. It's, it offers a little touch that shows that he cares. You know? Like, he, he cares about what he's doing. And, uh, yeah. I didn't expect I'd see that in here. I really didn't. Um... Yeah, it's brilliant. Back down to business. Should you get this? Hell yeah. Like, go, go go get this before it goes out of print. Like, as quick as you can. If you're new to Batman like me, this is my first Batman book I've read. You can jump straight into this. You don't need to know anything else about Batman other than Batman is Batman. There's no pre-required reading. It's It's magnificent. It's just amazing. I was worried about Batman because I haven't had previous good experience with it and this is freaking amazing this is a must buy guys like it really is so once again thanks for tuning in like and, f and sub if you've, this was of any use to you and please if you can give this a go you won't regret it you really won't <laughs>